Right. What are you, what are you going to educate me on, child? Oh, no, not educate per se. Mum's gone on a tangent about a YouTube channel. Like, oh, they're exploiting the ghosts. Ghosts have rights, damn it. I just counted seven YouTube channels of ghost hunting. There's a difference. Hold on. <gasps> the difference being the hotel will charge people to be like, come along. Yeah, like every Whereas, night. Whereas. Like every Whereas, night. Whereas. The other ones either just go in themselves or do ghost tours where they charge people to do it with them. You saying there's a difference. There's it's... a difference. <coughs> Let the woman talk. Okay. <laughs> I say not shaving <coughs> for the past couple of days. Um, Very bad angle of you. What? Your defence of the argument... Is the same mm. low level of stupidity as Zane saying, I'll give him one more chance. No. And I can fix him. No, it's different. How? Because How? if you do... Hang on. Right, no. This this is my argument, okay? So, they've got this unhotel where they book the rooms out, so many people a room, every night if they can. Question. And this is a discussion. I know. This is this is a discussion. This isn't a presidential debate. You know, we're here to communicate and talk. You may be wrong, but you're free to have your opinions. <laughs> um, those twins. Yes. Were they not charged by someone to be locked into that place? That one video. The one where they were locked in and they were panicking and had to call them to be let out. No, if if. Things like that, in my oh, assumption, they, because I don't, because I don't. Were they? It's even given the mm. given permission to go into the place by another human. Yeah, like the, the owner of the property. Do you know if they were charged? No, chances are, they. When I mean, they have to get permission. Mm -hmm. But it would be like. My eyes always look sharp. Um, because you your daddy's eyes. Um, no, <laughs> but like say say the like 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 the um the um uh, the Sally house, it's basically like an Airbnb now, and you rent it out and you stay and you can investigate Wait, if you yeah. want to. So what, is, is that a is that a problem? Is the Sally board the is that the boarding house? No, no, Sally. It's a different. Lizzie's different. Yeah. How wait? Okay. Isn't that place rented out as an Airbnb? Yes. Is. But, and they give a tour of the property and they tell you the history. They don't sit there and go, here's a haunted doll in a box that's chained down, talk to it and make stuff happen and we'll film you and put it on YouTube. To be fair, what history would there be about the Hutton Hotel? Yeah, this guy's... I don't, I don't this, know the actual history of yeah, why it's haunted. You know, here's my tour for the Hutton Hotel. This guy slipped in his head on the bathtub. You know, fascinating stuff. Riveting, even. I mean, people die everywhere. Your great grandmother yep. died in the bedroom I sleep in here, and I'm nothing. Well, I mean, I, and I'm dying. I'm, right I'm now seeing, I've seen stick this. figures on the, on one of those app thingies, but it's not haunted. I mean, other than my fairy lights keep coming on and off on their own, and it's battery operated, that mains operated, and it doesn't have a timer. I think it's just faulty somehow. I think you just got like an electronic issue. <laughs> no, because they would do it like, like all the, like the same no, time. No, I know. I'm next here. I don't like it though. I, 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 it's, it's, to me, it's different than like a ghost tour or a proper investigation as to. It, it, it feels like they're exploited. It's like you have to perform because people are booked in and we've got to put on a show and that kind of. You know, ghosts have rights too. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so all the. They're not, ha they're not here so for us or, for our entertainment, although we. I don't. I just don't like how they do it. It's like some, 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 some ghost ghost investigators get all agitated, and they're like, "Come on, I'm not afraid of you. Try me, push me, yeah, yeah, you know." Yeah. And they act, they use aggression to get a ghost to interact with them. It's like that's not right. They don't deserve your bullshit no. like that. Do you give them shit for it? Yeah, because they're being dicks. Okay. To dead people. So. Two questions. <sighs> First off, does this mean you hate the rooster teeth ghost hunting videos? Because those were amazing. Those were fun. <laughs> but that 
was done as yeah. entertainment. I mean, it wasn't. They never really took it seriously, and it was a bit of fun. There was one time they took it seriously. There was one time they did get they did get scared because Jeremy got a cut down his back. But it's like. So, in, in this place, and it's like in each room, there's apparently this spirit, that yeah, spirit, this, sure. you know, anything. Every night, this poor woman's ghost, every night, has been antagonized, going, come on, Carol, talk to us. Why did you kill your husband, Carol? I don't know why her name is Carol, but just, and just, you know, you, what did he do? You why did you get, well, who killed, well, who, who killed you, John? Tell us who killed you. Why is it's none of your fucking business. Whoever killed them is probably dead too now. So, that's different. I, I feel it's different because that's... it's something every night. Every night, poor Carol and John are getting fucking, you know, third degree of why they did this and who did this to them. And it's like, they've probably told 200 people by now and nothing's been done about it because then nothing can be done about it. Ooh, I've got some several ideas now. Thank oh, you. God. You've... I just don't like it because it, it, I just feel like they're just, what's the word? I lost my word. Exploiting the ghosts. And it's not right. What? There's a genuine ghost hunt for, you know, hey, something's happened here. Let's go and investigate and be respectful, you know. But there's like every night, it's like every night. Come on, Carol. We got another five people, but you gotta do this. Come on, John. Okay. You got to, okay, okay, okay. They pay their money. They expect a performance. Okay. That's what I don't like. So, one. Yes. This is also working on the assumption they don't like it. But the ghosts don't like it. Who are you to say? Maybe they enjoy it. Maybe they have fun with it. Maybe they're drama queens. They just Maybe, want yeah. attention. Maybe they have a different story each time. They're like, oh, we're going to be like Clue. Give a different answer. <laughs> but it could happen this way. <laughs> Two. Um, some of the view, some of the people you do watch, yes, are bitchy to their ghosts. For example, the we can't let's not name names because obviously we don't want to. I can't because I don't know any of them. Okay, so okay, the, we'll the, say the boys. That's it. I'm not talking about them. Okay. Um. Okay. The, the, ones... the other person who kept wanting to go downstairs for two hours yes, and didn't like the downstairs. They we know were, who we're talking about. I'm not going to name names or channels were because badgering. Was it? The, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They were badgering the ghosts for ages, asking the same question repeatedly. And that entire time, I mentioned that you defended them I, to a point. And to and, a point, and then I was like, "No, this is ridiculous." Because I mean, you didn't defend them then. No, you defended them then. This is new. This. What's new? No, the not entire time you defended them. I did not defend them the entire time. Because I'm like, yeah, okay, should, you know, where, where do you want us to go? And they're like, do you want us to go downstairs? You know, give us a sign and then something would happen. And there'd be another question <coughs> or another comment. Do you want us to go downstairs? Give us a sign. Like, how many more signs? It's like, have you seen the man with two brains? Okay. You no know cinema right? sins. Hmm? Cinema sins. No, but the man with two brains, when he meets... Kathleen Turner's character, and he's asking his wife, I can't remember his his wife's name, but he's like, you know, but if this is okay, you know, if you're not happy, give me a sign. And the portrait's spinning, the lights are going, all this shit's going on, and Steve Martin's hair is going on. And he's like, just any sign at all, be fine. <laughs> and it's like, if, like, literally over an hour we're watching this, yeah. going, go downstairs then. Yeah. They've told you how many, what do you want them to do? Open the door and be like, so, no. they didn't pay for that experience. I don't know. No. I mean, but... I'm just saying, let's work on this. Obviously, you would pay to have, this, like at like Airbnb, you would pay to use the space because you have to get owner's permission or at least permission. Some people might not charge. So, all of these people are paying to enter these places supposedly with ghosts. <laughs> supposedly. And bringing their own equipment and methodology, including attitude to the workplace... Okay, Call but it. this other place I'm talking about, they provide, from what I've seen, they provide everything. Okay. I'm just saying, they are, they are, regardless of how. And again, if they're providing everything. What if they're bringing everything? 
I'm um, just saying. If I they mean, want, they want to make sure their guests are happy, leave a five star review. They're giving you the equipment. If all the other people want to keep their staff and crew paid. Um, mm. Um, God, there are several things you said I wanted to talk about. <laughs> um, if me and you, not that you would, but if I said, hey, let's go to this hotel and stay the night, it might, it's supposed to be haunted. No, I would, because I would love to see this, because... Well, we stayed, end... at, we stayed at the Red Lion in Colchester several <laughs> years ago, which is supposedly haunted, and nothing happened. Lee, our friend, or my friend Lee... He had stuff happen. His proton pack and PKE meter, which are toys. They're not actual, you know, they're Ghostbuster cosplay props. But they were off. And they came on on their own in the middle of the night a couple of times. Um, we didn't have nothing happen in our room. But we had this huge um, wardrobe, like Narnia piece of shit, mm -hmm. right facing the bed. And I was like, if that motherfucker opens in the middle of the night, I'm so, out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm cussing too much. This is never going to get monetized. You can monetize it. You just can't curse in the first 10 or 15 a, seconds. I need, I need about 650 more subscribers so I can monetize. If you guys can please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Carry on. Okay. Um... You're just doing that to distract me. So, cause you know, I think I'm, I'm waiting for you to come back. You know I'm waiting for you to come back. I'm waiting for you to come back to your thought. Uh, okay, let's, I talk, just feel it's let's talk about Colchester, though. Yes. So, let's talk about the Red Lion. Yes. So we, we were there for an event, and we stayed the night with many of, like many people, because it was a good hour and a half drive. We wanted to go out after mm -hmm. the event, go out drinking and eating, and, we, and it was near town. It was and reasonably we were, priced. We were charged to say Because it's a hotel. Mm -hmm. It is a hotel. But it's they're not hotel. saying... Hold on. Okay. And before booking it... You was aware there were stories about it being haunted? Yes. At Whether or not that was on the website or just general knowledge, I can't remember. Okay. That's, that's but the they weren't was. saying, oh, come stay with us because we're haunted <coughs> and you'll have an experience and let us know and we'll put it on our YouTube channel or we'll... That's regardless. That's yeah. like saying it doesn't matter if Five Guys advertise the Freestyle Coke machine. You still go for the Freestyle Coke machine. You go for the fries. And the guys. And the peanut butter. And the shakes. Anyway. Yeah, so how's that work at Five Guys? I've never that attractive. Anyway. Um, so, paid for a hotel. Yes. With the knowledge of, of stories about being, being haunted. Yes. Did you have expectations? No. 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 Because it, cause you can never guarantee something's going to happen. Because... Uh, uh, no pun intended. They're free spirits. No, of course. However, you were looking for a reason to see a ghost. You was focusing on the closet. You was one. You was wanting to hear what your friends I said. Wasn't. I wasn't. I was scared to death if that thing opened on its own. I was probably going to shit my pants. It's really? like it would have hilarious. Probably would have. But it's like when, when me and Sheila stayed at Lizzie Borden's house, I slept in Lizzie Borden's bedroom. Obviously, yeah. not the same bed because that was over 100 years ago. Aww. Um, but it's, I bet it was still so comfortable. It was quite comfortable. And they had a red, the red exit light above the door. So it was like lit red all night. It's like a red uh, light. That was happen. creepy. But, and I was like, and you read through the guest book and people say, this happened, this happened. And yeah. some people, nothing happened for us, but it was still a great time. And, and nothing happened for us, but we still had a great time. But, I'm sitting there going, I'm sleeping in Lizzie Borden's bedroom. Sheila's in her sister's bedroom. Our two friends, Mary and Sandra, are in the room next to us, which was um, Andrew and Abby's bedroom parents. Um, and I'm just sitting there going, if that door opens, if something falls, I'm like, you know. So you're keeping your eyes out for a ghost. Well, it's that, it's that, expect, not the expectation. But oh, it's the, oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't oh, expecting. Almost. No, no, I wasn't expecting anything to happen. But it was, you know you're going to a place that has, people have said they've had experiences. And obviously a very gruesome murder happened there right behind our headboards. Mm -hmm. You know, no, they didn't, it was the other room where the guys were sleeping in. Uh, but still, and you know, so it's that something could happen. And it was like, if something does happen, it's like, 
It's like, it'd be cool because I'd have pr proof for myself, but I'd be like, but I'd, only, be, I'd, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be in the car, I'll see you on the morning. You can only really worry about something you expect. But you get it, you plan it in your brain, don't yeah, you? Yeah, because you expect it. I wasn't expecting like, oh, if, it's going to happen. If I'm walking... I was anti maybe, maybe anti anticipating this on the right word. If I'm walking... You just don't, you don't want to say that because that will catch you out. If well, I'm, you would expect something to happen. If I like, was walking across a rickety bridge, I'd be worried it breaks because I'd expect it to break eventually. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so maybe expect you, is the right word. Both these instances, you paid for a hotel experience expecting... A spiritual interaction. I wasn't expecting. I knew it was a possibility. Are you really going to go into the statistic? Um, <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> the no, the statistician. <laughs> <laughs> I had this the other day, actually. I was um. There's being aware of the possibility, the and there's expecting. Like I expect. That's the clothing to be wet when I take it out of the washer in a minute. But there's a possibility that it could be almost dry. Because <laughs> it's like, shit. It was like such a, like it was some sort of like weird detergent ad. Because it's a dodgy English combo washer. <laughs> <laughs> now the washer part works, just that the dryer part doesn't really. Just kind of no, shit. same. I just don't like it. I don't like how they do it and it's like so if because they 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 book it out yeah. and it is like you know we're only doing these dates and we've got to fill it up whatever kind of a thing yeah. and and then it is <coughs> what about they do say oh yeah it's like you know and yes it is haunted and things will happen and it's you know and you're so the people that charge it's like a theme park so the people that charge it are the youtubers the people who own the, 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 the place yes yeah and you go and you stay do they no like the ones that charge their brothers to go into like certain buildings etc i don't know because okay. it's but you would assume um okay like when we had the birthday thing at spring villa in Alabama, mm -hmm. we had to pay to use that space. Yeah. Even though we didn't go into because we were paying for that space. Yeah. Because someone owns it. Yeah. And obviously, people make their money. Capitalism. <laughs> but it's different saying, hey, we're going to hire out this Airbnb or we're, we want to use your bar after hours to investigate so, us. And then be like, or me saying, come stay in my flat because somebody died in the bedroom and stuff happens every night and give me your money. And So do you not think that the people that own that property with the knowledge of haunting stories intentionally put it out there to gain uh money for example advertising to spiritual youtubers being like hey i've got this location i'll charge you x amount to use it maybe maybe it's just the way they go about it maybe it's the, the guests that i've seen on there where they're antagonizing where they're constantly <coughs> Maybe it's that. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. If you're an asshole to, like, spirits, that's on them. But that's not I on know. the hotel owners. No, but it's it's like... That's like saying you had a bad experience. At a, that's like saying you hated the restaurant. I've got it. No, no, no. I've customers. got it. Shh, before I lose it, quick. Okay, so the, the, so they're hiring out these this place, sure. these rooms, yep. two people, yep. to create activity, to get activity going for their channel. For their business to bring more people in for the next week, to active to um, uh, not activate um, interact with the ghosts for more activity for more footage for their. So who's being used more, the guests or the ghosts? Before you decided to start recording. Because we're having a good conversation. And Kiara keeps saying, when we get these fun conversations, oh, yeah, listen, we, need, we should sure. film ourselves. No, this is just recording something and when, we're, and when we're just messing around with watching stuff and we get the, in the antics. This would be a flashback, in theory. Flashback. Um, picture, flashback. Us on the, picture us on the couch earlier. <laughs> Sorry, Wayne's wrong. Okay. At one point, you was like, what time do the guys live stream 
start. It's on now. It's on. It's been 23 minutes yeah. since it started and you're currently missing it. Now. I know, but I'll watch it back. It just means I have to watch the adverts. And I can't join in the chat. Which is also how they generate money on these ghost videos. Anyway, but that's YouTube. When I get money, I'll make money from ads. Yeah. But you know what? It's because they do videos on the ghosts. But no, things happen. So, these videos that they make. Are they not used to draw in more and more viewers using the ghosts as bait? Irregardless of whether they do anything with it. Yeah, I mean, you want, you want views and you want, you know. So, but it's like it's like someone writing a book and going, here's this information, if you want it, buy it. Yep. Or someone going, come in here and on my typewriter and write this book for me and I'll make the money and you can just have the experience. Ghosts have rights. That's what I'm just saying. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like have, I don't, I don't, it doesn't sit right with me. It's, I find it different what they're doing to pair, compared as a ghost walk or, you know, hiring a place to sleep for the night and investigate if you so wish or, um, you know, just sleep over or whatever. All things which charge you with the advertisement being it's there are ghosts. The only difference is you're not being provided most of the time the ghost hunting equipment that this hotel provides. The only difference you're making is one provides equipment. Which, I'm mad, I also don't care about because I don't believe in the fucking equipment they use. Mm. Then why won't you use the Ouija board? No. You know, I won't touch that damn thing. Say, but you don't believe. I talk to spirits. The fuck? But you, say, you just said you don't believe in the equipment, but you won't use the Ouija board. Yeah, they don't use Ouija boards. They use the little click on the the what? <laughs> EMF readers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. Um, Do you want to hear the EVP we got last week? <laughs> just, sorry. <laughs> um, just came right over. To, if you get that, bravo, we like you. So you've not really made a distinct difference besides... I know besides, what I'm I can't always articulate what I'm thinking. The only difference you've made is the videos of this hotel have included bad customers, which any spiritual- Which there are some bad investigators out there, but I'm not naming names. Airbnbs <laughs> and ghost walks and ghost walks, etc. Mm -hmm. will also have customers that antagonize girls will be assholes. They're just not on videos on YouTube more often because it's not the whole I channel's premise. Like it. it just feels like they're giving the come along and we film your experience and things are going to happen because we have this and there's this and there's these haunted objects and there's you know and I don't know it's, I, find it, di I find with, it different we have one with several posters around our town why does this keep moving for there was this is an issue of you're being subjected to it you're actively seeing assholes at this hotel, you are not actively seeing the people I've seen at night in Canterbury on these ghost walks. Ghost walks being are assholes. different because ghost walks are based <coughs> in history and they're telling, like, say Jack the Ripper walk. Okay, sure. Okay. So you're going along, you, the the places where things happened, you're being told the history, being told the cases, you're being told mm -hmm. the history of it. Chances are anything happening, nah. But it's called a ghost walk because it's. Mm, Sorry, I just It's really magical. Sorry. It just sits different to me. And I'm, I was watching it thinking, oh, this will be cool because I like, like, I'd, like, I'd like for something to happen one day. I'd like to have an experience. So until then, and I'm watching it, I'm just like, I don't like it because it was constantly, you know, well, have you tried this? We'll do this. We'll ask him this. And, did, and it's just. You? It's like they're being made pushed to perform. That is... And if they don't do anything, they keep on about it. The the guests and the, the owners and producers. I have actively seen your favorite ghost hunters 
ignore the consent of spirits. When? There's been several videos we've watched when the ghosts will say, please leave. And they refuse and keep asking questions. Now, does, is that the ghost not exercising their right to be left in peace? For one thing, they, re they never say please. Secondly, okay. most all ghosts say I'm, get out. All the bad, well, most of them say I'm get sorry. out because they're angry and they don't want you there. But chances are oh, there's only one ghost and normally the next thing will say, help me or... <coughs> Or they'll give some information, but they're just after information. They're not sitting there wanting, saying, "Do you know?" Yeah, do this to them, but to answer the questions, like you know, this is the story so, about a lady who had three lovely girls. <laughs> right over his head. Um, so, so it's like, yeah, you know, this is the story. This boy got was drowned, and you know, are you here? Can what happened to you? That kind of thing. You know. So if I came in here. With a bunch of devices and maybe a couple friends. I've got I've got and... proof of stuff in here. I'll have to find it and I'll show it to you. I'll um I'll add it and do a, a card link. We had um a friends who are ghost hunters and they use their, their stick figure thing in here. We had many figures and a cat as well, a cat ghost, which isn't surprising. Um and three go three ghosts in the bathroom for some reason. I'm quite concerned with that one. I don't want anybody in the bathroom with me. Uh, so shit in the bathroom. <laughs> I've seen shit that'll turn into white. Um, so I came in here with like some friends and equipment. Yep. And I was like, hey, are you in the room with us right now, mum? Are, are you in the room with us? Yes. What happened to you? I'm still here, goddammit. Why am I dead? If you said, get out, let's say you're dead and we came in here. Without asking you beforehand, okay. let's say I paid Dorothy, a cat, a beloved. Mm. Um, oh, we was not happy with that decision. Obviously, <coughs> it didn't help. So if, let's say I paid the cats to come in, and they were like, "Hey, your mum's dead." <laughs> <laughs> this is a really bad analogy. <laughs> to be told that you're dead by the cats. Meryl. 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 Um, my, mom, my cat eat my eyeballs. And they were like, we'll charge you to come in here and you can, uh, like, record and ghost hunt your mum. Okay? Please don't trap me. And at some point, you was like, what? get out. Get out right now. Mm. Would you expect me to leave? No. But you said get out. So, there's nothing I can do about it. So because- I can the, take it out right now, okay. I mean you're gonna do so, it. So, what you're saying is because, I should be a lawyer, <laughs> because the ghosts can't physically do anything about it, you can ignore their, them saying get out. You can ignore their no because you they can't do anything to stop you. Is that what you're saying? No. It sounds like Just it because one ghost says get out, yep. there could be five other ghosts saying, no, we want to talk to you. We need to tell you our story. Help us go towards the light, Carol Ann. You know, just... <coughs> but they don't really have a clear way to know who's talking or if there's multiple or not. Hence, they can ask quite more questions. But they just ignore the ghost request. Would it not make sense I don't like, I just to don't like the leave whole... and eventually maybe come back with a clearer idea of what the situation is slash figure out a way to communicate directly with the other ones specifically? I don't know. But we've been rambling on for nearly 30 minutes. We have. I'm hungry. Okay. And I feel like you just said some very controversial things about how you can ignore a ghost once because it can't physically do anything about it. Well, they can. They can. Some ghosts can do can. things. Um, I think there's just a better way of going about it. And I'll show you one of the episodes later, and then you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I think it was, I, th I, I think it's different to your an your, investigation team. Your and issue is subjectivity. Maybe. You are seeing them as arsehole customers, where you're not seeing the backgrounds of your favorite ghost hunting YouTubers. You're not seeing the crew that are getting paid. You're not seeing the deals being made. You're not seeing the advertisements. Jesus. 
you're not seeing the planning for it, you're not seeing anything else like that. You're not say, seeing the owner be like, hey, I've got this place, you're free to use it, I'll charge you this much. I just found it's different. I'm just saying. I think it's different. It's, it's Domino's and Papa John's. No, I can't afford Domino's. You get, okay. get co-op pizza. Well, if you want to buy pizza, you can buy your pizza. Okay. Mama's broke. This is why Mama has two and a half jobs. Um, and I've got... Only... Speaking of that, please subscribe. I don't like that. And I've got OnlyFans. He does not have an OnlyFans. Not yet. Don't, no. You don't want to see this. You don't want to promote that? No. Oh. Not my child. So mean. I've got people waiting for it. Anyway, if you think this is funny or just stupid, um, give it a like and subscribe and comment below. What do you think? Do you see, do you maybe see what I'm talking about? This year? He's talking about who do you agree with? Please, what do you think? Please also comment if you agree that she just said you can ignore a ghost once because it can't physically do anything about it. That's not, no, that's not. That is what you said. If there was a ghost right now okay. said, get out, would you leave? Yes. Why? We live here. Because they said, get out. I respect that. If, if they said, if we were in this room. would you come back? <coughs> if we were in this room and they said, get out, I'd be like, okay, and I'll go to my room. And they said, get out again, I'd say, okay. I'll and something. go where? Mm, outside. We're living. We need the roof. Okay, what about the places where they don't live? Those YouTubers don't live where they're going. They can get out easily. They've got a roof to go back to. What excuse do they have? I just, I just don't think it's right antagonizing ghosts and being, you know, I'm not afraid of you. Come on. Show me what you got. You ain't nothing. I, I don't like that. Are all of them not just being softly nope. antagonistic? Nope. By just imposing their presence nope. among them? Nope. 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 It's just what we talked about the other day. I cannot remember what we talked about the other day. I don't you know damn well. I don't remember what we talked about yesterday. Regarding the book. You'll need to be right. What? Oh! <laughs> oh, the whole, um... The whole relationship issues. So... All I don't need to be right. I don't need so, to be right. I'm just trying to get you to understand what I'm trying to say. No, I understand what you're trying to say. I'm just saying you're being very hypocritical. I just can't are, articulate it right. All I can't... Your, are all of your favourites not just being softly antagonistic by imposing their presence and need for viewership? I don't know. I don't know because they're not rude. No, but neither are some people that are antagonistic. I just don't, but then they're like pushed, do this, say this, make, you know, try this. It's the constant, if you can hear us, do, 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 do this thing. I don't know. Not being pushy. I don't know. Because they'll say that several times. I don't know. I, maybe it's, I don't, it's just how it's done. I don't like it. It's like a theme park. Oh. And an Airbnb is also an Airbnb. <sighs> Listen to your elders. See, you say that. We're also saying you can ignore a ghost and get out because they're probably also older than you. But they're your elder. But I can't physically do anything about it. So, like, you can ignore it, apparently. Anyway. <laughs> I really should be a lawyer. You know. No? Well, what would you be? Um, defense or prosecutor? I wanted to be a defendant as a kid. A, a who? A defendant. Really? Yeah, because... Do you know which side the defendant is? Yeah, because I was obsessed with Phoenix Wright. What? That lawyer video game. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Amazing. Anyway, please subscribe and help me get to a thousand followers so I can try to monetize my stupid videos. And, and don't go searching for my son on OnlyFans. <laughs> he's, he's not, I will come for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that's uh, concerning. 
Anyway, all right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>